اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ومن حولكم من العراب منافقون ومن اہل المدینہ مرضوا على النفاق لا تعلمهم نحن نعلمهم سنعذبهم مرتين ثم يردون الى عذاب عظيم After describing the two highest cardinals, As-Sabiqun al-Awwalun, then Al-Muttabi'un abhi Ihsanin, those who follow, but in, with the best of intentions, in the best of the manners. But now the other extreme, from the lowest, and they are the Munafiqun, hypocrites, legally Muslims, actually, really, unbelievers, kuffar. وَمِمَّنْ حَوْلَكُمْ مِنَ الْعَرَابِ مُنَافِقُونَ وَمِنْ أَهْلِ الْمَدِينَةِ And among them who are around you from, the, from among the desert Arabs, there are munafiqoon, there are hypocrites. And also, وَمِنْ أَهْلِ الْمَدِينَةِ They are there in Medina also, in the city of the Prophet also. مَرَبُوا عَلَى النِّفَاقِ They have persisted in nifaq. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warned them many a times. And you know, ask them to repent, to make, to mend their ways. But you know, they persisted. Maradu ala nifaq, la ta'alamuhum, nahnun alamuhum. You don't know all of them. We know all of them. Sanu'azzibuhum marratayn. We shall chastise them, punish them twice. Summa yuradduna ila azabin azim. And then they will be returned to to the great torment. Now what is this Marratayn? Number one, Khizyun fil hayati dunya. The humiliation that they had now, when they were exposed. You know, Allah Deen, now Supreme. They were hoping for some turn of events, which might be favorable for them. But now, the alayhim da'aratu saw, all the bad aspects fell on them. And Muslims, you know, they were successful. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, now the uncrowned king of Arabian Peninsula. He is the authority of the whole of Arabian Peninsula. So this is the humiliation that they got when they were exposed in the eyes of the Mormons. And number two, I, as far as I think, there are more than one place in the Quran where, you know, a reference is there to the torment of the grave. In the grave also, there is going to be a torment. Azab al-Qabr. So actually, as we find in Surah Al-Furqan, Yudhaf lahum al-Azab yawm al-Qiyamah. On the day of judgment, their chastisement and torment will be doubled. So it means that before that also, they were having some sort of, because you know people who don't believe in Hadith, they say, no, there is no mention of this thing in Quran. But I think there are references, you know. Although not in so clear words. But here also, سَنُعَزِّبُهُمْ مَرَّةً In this world, and then in the grave, ثُمَّ يُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَذَابِ نَظِيمٍ And the real punishment and the great torment is that of the hell. Now, two levels in between. One is closer to the munafiqeen. People who are permanently weak in faith, but they are not munafiqs. But their faith, their belief is permanently weak. And then a higher level, people having strong faith, but sometimes even, you know, a very brave person and a very tough person can also sleep. There can be slips. So those are, they are, they are close to the to those people, but they commit some blunder. They, are, they get slipped somewhere. So these are, I call them the upper middle and the lower middle. The lowest are the munafiqoon. Then the lower middle, the upper middle, and then the two super, super classes, you know. One topmost was sabiqoon al-awwaloon, and number two, the muttabi'oon abhi ihsan. Now who are that lower middle? وَآخَرُونَ اَعْتَرَفُوا بِذُنُوبِهِمْ خَلَطُوا عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَآخَرَ سَيِّعًا And there are others who confess their sins. 
دس از دی لائن بٹوین منافق اینڈ اے ویک مسلم مسلم آف اے ویک فیتھ وین دی فیتھ انٹینسٹی آف ایمان از ناٹ سفیشینٹ ہی ول بی سلیپنگ ہی ول بی ڈوئنگ مسٹیکس اینڈ کمیٹنگ ایرس بٹ ہی ول کنفیس ہی ول ناٹ ٹیل اے لائی ہی ول ناٹ سویئر بائی اللہ رانگلی سیاح نے فون اب اللہ نو دے کنفیس اٹس ویکنس اعتراف از دی ڈیوائڈنگ لائن so long as a muslim is confessing his weaknesses and he comes to the prophet also ya rasulullah istaghfirli if they also are forgiving they are asking the forgiveness of allah and they ask the prophet also to ask the forgiveness of allah but actually i i was i committed a blunder i confess my weakness so this person although apparently he will resemble the munafiq he also held back he also didn't go but he is confessing so actually they resemble with the munafiq but because they are confessing they admit their faults so they are not munafiqs wa akharuna tarafu bi zunubihim this is the key word i'tiraf to confess admit khalatu amalan salihan wa akhara sayya they are mixed good deeds also bad deeds also doing something good doing something bad good doing something good something virtuous something evil asallahu an yatuba alayhim it can be hoped that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have mercy on them will turn towards them with mercy and compassion inna allah ghafurur rahim allah is surely ghafur and rahim and he is forgiving and merciful but in addition to this hope now a prescription is also being given you are a sick person your iman is not strong enough and when the iman is not strong enough you are liable to catch the infection of nifaq at any moment when you know the resistance is low you can catch infection at any moment so you have to strengthen your iman purify yourself and what is the way what is the method khuz min amwalihim sadaqatan to tahhiruhum wa tuzakkihim biha accept o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam from their belongings and property sadaqa the sadaqa will purify the impurities in their minds or in their hearts you know this is the cause of the weakness of their faith there are some impurities so actually this you know pollution now this word is very important to the pollution pollution so there is some pollution within them and that is the source of this weakness of their faith خود من اموالهم صدقه except from their amwal and we have read last night the ayah now about the munafiqeen the 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 uh, the messenger was uh, commanded not to accept anything from them but from these people the lower middle because they are not munafiqeen خود من اموالهم صدقه تطهرهم وتزكيهم بها you will cleanse them and you will purify their souls through this this sadaqa is actually that is why you know this sadaqa is called zakah what is zakah purification what is tazkiya tazkiya purifying the souls the most effective in the purification of the souls is sadaqa because the biggest cause of nifaq is the love of this worldly life and the love for mal for for money and for you know worldly belongings that is the biggest symbol of the world of the of the love for this life so you you have to now reduce it this love you have to purify your souls of the love of of money and belonging the riches and the ways you spend in the way of allah khuz min amwalihim sadaqatan tutahhiruhum wa tuzakkihim biha wa salli alayhim and you also pray for them in the salata ka sakanun lahum verily o messenger of allah your prayers for them are a source of solace for them if you pray for them you know it 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 becomes a solace for them wallahu samiun alim and allah is all hearing all knowing alam ya'lamu anna allah huwa yaqbalu at-tawbah 'ala ibadi don't they know what does it mean they should know they should rest assured that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the tawba from his bondsmen his servants if you have committed a blunder you admit it 
میں ایک توبہ اب من الزمب کم اللہ زمبا لہو سم ون ہو ایکچولی میکس توبہ ٹو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی فرام وچ ایور زمب اٹ میٹ بی وچ ایور ایور سن اٹ کین بی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ول جسٹ واش اٹ آؤٹ کلینس کلینس اوے فرام یور ریکارڈ یو نو اٹ ول بی واشڈ آف سو ایکچولی الم یعلم ان اللہ ہوا یقبل توبہ تعالی بعد ہی و یا خود الصدقات اینڈ لک آل دو ہیز غنی غنی یو نل عالمین بٹ ہی ایکسپٹ صدقات اٹس ویری امپورٹنٹ پوائنٹ ہی از غنی ہی ڈزنٹ نیڈ اینی صدقہ فار یور سیک ہی از ایکسپٹنگ یور صدقہ ٹو پیوریفائی یو ہی ڈزنٹ نیڈ اٹ ایکچولی ہی از ایکسپٹنگ دی صدقہ اونلی فار یور گڈ سو دیٹ یو آر پیوریفائڈ فرام ود ان ون اللہ و تواب الرحیم and they should know and they should rest assured that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is tawwab he very much accepts the tauba and returns to his bondsman with all his mercy and compassion and he is merciful wa qul a'malu fa sayara allah amalakum and tell them try go on trying your heart to get rid of these things impurities and to have more and more of faith more of more iman and to earn more and more of good deeds you must also try yourself don't depend solely that the prophet has asked the forgiveness for me so it's all it's sufficient no no don't be confident about that you have also to go on trying your best amal you know it is something which we call labor continue your labor your struggle So Allah and His Messenger will see to your attitude whether you are improving, whether you know you are being cured of the disease. Well, Mu'minun and the Mu'mins, the all all of these believers, they will also see that such a person, such person, was somewhat somewhat weak, you know, in his iman, in his faith, in his deeds, in his sacrifices. Now he is improving. He is coming to the level. بس ستردون الى عالم الغيب والشهاده and very soon you will be returned to him who is the knower of all the seen and the unseen fa yunabbihukum bima kuntum ta'lamun and he will then inform you of what you had been doing 